Well, what we have there is a pile of timber that's uh, ready to be put together. It turns out I don't have any nails for my nail gun. Uh, I've left them at the shack, so I'll have to buy more nails. I don't want to have to go through and screw all this together. I've got long enough screws there to do it. But that's just going to be a pain in the ass. And, you know, I've got plenty of work already. I don't want to make the process any longer than it has to. So I just cut it already in a nice, lovely pile. <coughs> You'd think it'd just be all cut up. It's like a pile of, um, a pile of wood for your wood heater. But uh, there, that's all measured and cut to length. Now i just got to put all the pieces together like a jigsaw puzzle and, uh, and nail it all in. I'll wait, I'll get some more nails. I'll get some nails for the pass load tomorrow when I take a run into Bunnings, get a few things. I'll get some nails then and I'll put it together then, just because it'll be a bit quicker. One side of the uh, bed frame uh, might use some liquid nails in the next turn around, just in case.
Side number two. Okay, so my lower back started to hurt bending down doing all that so I, I went and got a platform, a plank and uh, I'll just do it off the plank and be at waist height might help my back feel better So with this here, using the shooter I've actually put one of these nails into the tip of my finger once by holding onto the stud wall, banging the nail in with the paslo, and it's sort of going through the wall further than I expected, come in and hit the tip of my finger, which hurt for a long time. So, what do I think? A nice safe way to do this. I could just uh, plant my hand down there and, and bang the nail in, or I could use a template, a block. When I get it in place, I just apply some pressure on the block, and then shoot the nail in. That will just save the nail going through my finger. If it does skill with a little bit, I'll go in a bit further than expected. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah All I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard, or live in my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day Late at night, not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days.
Okay. I find it's easier. In the past, I've tried to frame everything up, like inside the area sort of thing. But uh, I've found it easier to take your measurements and then frame, make your boxing, frame everything up however you're going to design it. Frame it up in the workshop or in the shed or whatever and then cart it in into the bus or wherever you need to take it from there. Um, the only thing you've got to watch out for is you don't construct something that's bigger than the opening or the entrance. <coughs> okay. So that gives us the start of our bed base anyway. I've got a box in on this side, box in here, and then put a little box in here, and then, then I can put the, uh, the hard top, the bed top over, and sort it out. Sort it out because I want to utilise all this space in here for, for storage as well. I think we can, when I put the top on for the bed, the hard top, I think I'll just cut some, <coughs> cut some little access patches or access panels into the top so you can get into that bed cavity and use it for storing spare blankets and sheets and doona covers and pillows and whatnot. So it should work out well. <coughs> 